Today, I will show you how to make hologram in Premiere Pro. Let's go! First, you need a video pretending that you were scrolling or liking Instagram. Any platforms you want, actually. Facebook, um, Twitter, news, whatever. Second, you also need a screen-captured video on your phone with the right timing along with your first video. And that's all you need. Next is open Adobe Premiere Pro, import the file, the two files. Okay. And import the other one. Then we need to create a sequence using our captured video. And let's remove the audio. Let's remove the audio, of course, and then Trim the video according to what you need. And also the screen captured video. Then place the screen captured video with the right timing to the primary video. Your size is smaller, so it will be easy for you to see both videos. In the effects panel, you need to search for crop and then place it on the screen captured video. Let's just crop the upper part because it is the recording status that you don't want your audience to see. Okay. Then let's put some alpha glow on the screen captured video for some digital. Effect. You need to adjust glow and brightness. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And then we need to reduce the opacity. And then and then, and then, and then, go to effects again and search for basic 3. And then drag it also to your screen captured video. Here you can adjust swivel or tilt. And then let's adjust the positioning above the watch. That's it. That's good. Here you need a space for the pop-up of the screen. So you need to position it here. Add keyframes. You need to add keyframes here. You need to add keyframes at the end of the pop-up. 
then at the first part we need to zero the scale so it will look like a pop-up can adjust the position so it will be exactly on your watch okay Adjust the keyframes. Okay. Okay, on the last part, we need to remove the screen captured video away from you, away from the watch. Let's flip the video. We need to add keyframe at the start of your split video. And then keyframes again in the last part of the video. We need to, we need to adjust the scale higher so it will get bigger. is good. It is just a little bit more. The first few frames. And that's it. You also might want to color grade your videos or adding some sound effects. Just like what I did. Here's the final video.